getting weaker. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. <laughs> Get in. Go, Yasna. I, I, I don't want to. Go! Yasna, I'm here. <laughs> In my Hello everyone, I am Sister Arts, and welcome back to another entry in The Invincible. So in the last episode, we learned a lot about the state of Regis III, and what happened to the Alliance convoy that appeared deserted, and with all of its members currently dead, save for the one who is currently leading us into a deep hideout inside the cave. So we stumbled upon what exactly it is they were searching for what the antimat was firing at. A kind of swarm of nanobots, small robots, that seemed to have killed the crew in some way, shape, or form. How exactly they did that is unclear, though there are some hints that the electromagnetic field they gave off could have been what killed everyone. But until we have a good answer, we're going to continue on with the mystery of Regis 3. Sit here. Oh, no, there are a couple people. I have something for you. Oh, he's his brain's fried. Another one. Brains That's are fried. More than we need. It's for your safety. Survivors as well. Glad to see you guys too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. One for you. And one... For Spliskus. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something. To have strength. They're getting the exact same situation from the other ones in. Their brains have been like kind it? of wiped clean of the electromagnetic Very pulses. Nice. Now they I've searched the caves. Um, I know Dr. Magdoff went down like there. State. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would yet. be easier then. More missing scientists, it seems. Could. To be just as confused Zebulon as we are. Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. Probably and the whole dead. convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe They're by gone. then, with reinforcements. Deep hole. Hey, hey there, bud. Um, what, what you doing? Um, poor you. What's gonna happen to you? Lendor, comrade. Don't be fooled. She's not our friend. He's looking worse for wear. You don't know who I am. And you don't listen. She's lying too. Sorry, God. I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Look, man, I'm just trying to help. If you want to be a dick about it, go ahead. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. Huh. Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting That's through. Deep. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. Mm -hmm. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup. Over and out. 
So I'm guessing the Alliance and Commonwealth, what we've seen, are hey, not on good terms. I hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, nothing I'm asking. You're Rahitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. My brother is a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. I, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> Uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Do okay. you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I'm sure he did. These tanks are a temporary solution. You've been camping here long? No response there. Uh, wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. Great catch, Butterfingers. You're welcome. Oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> hmm, I get really it. Them. Reference to the author. Okay. So tell me why you came here. The part about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruise into this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. To we stopped here by accident due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you. Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So, not many. It's the Condor. I told you. Or is a the crew we're unit. looking at. The Invincible hasn't even arrived the yet. Rest. That, okay, that tracks. Gorski, a cyberneticist, a golden child, serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. Then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Fair. Koval, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Give me the same state as the others. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. He was mortally wounded while wandering in a stupor. We don't even know how it exactly happened. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was... A dear friend of mine. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor. Even look. Survivors. Those who were unable to... To do anything, really. 
I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. And what a shame. No one else is out there. But it was you and someone else, was it? The other guy? When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. Mm, must have been the robot. It's water. <laughs> Local, but treat it. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. I haven't had anything in a while. Might as well. Thank you. Oh, I needed that. <sighs> Me too. Been silent for nearly two whole seconds. Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... Far-fetched. You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. We'll do as follows. I'll give that Astro Gator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then, I'll read your journal. And in the meantime, you will get some rest. Been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want. Alright, that's fine. <sighs> I think I've rested long enough. Resting on a dead planet. Probe. Hitra! You don't mind if I play with your probe? Well, no answer is also an answer. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Rahitra, are you sleeping? I'll take that as a yes. A sedative? Does he serve it to them in the food? Or does he take it himself? Um, similar situation, but it seems like, okay. Invincible isn't even here yet. We've been interacting with the Condor crew. So why then is the Invincible coming here? Is it to respond to the signals that have been setting? What? Why exactly is the Invincible coming? Oop, that's too far out. <laughs> what exactly do I do with this probe? Can't really go anywhere or do anything with it. But what now? Hey, you! How did you get here? The Commonwealth? What are you doing here? Come on, stop pulling my leg. It's not funny, Rahitra. <laughs> if anyone's joking around here... Hang on. How do you know my name? For crying out loud, we met yesterday. You really don't remember. I... Is this some new trick of yours, damn Commonwealthers? Uh, put that thing away. We both know the blaster doesn't work. You told me about it yourself. And about the man you killed with it. Fuck! I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow- Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I- <sighs> Great. Starting to affect him too. More. Why are we not being affected primarily? I know it's happened to us before, but it really hasn't happened since. In fact, we seem to be gaining more memories than anything. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. Hey, hey, it's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Mm -hmm. Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna, I have a favor to ask. Yep. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. I'm worried he's not back yet. Don't worry. I was thinking the same thing. I'll leave right now. And you wait here with the guys. Thank you. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. Alright, but what was in here? Back there. Hmm? 
What's back there? I would like to know. Go ahead. I know it. Good luck, Doc. Hopping down to the rover. Shit. That was... He was... I don't know. I gotta tell Novik everything. Ew. Whoa. That is one big pile. They have been here for a while. I think for far longer than 25 days, 26 days. I think the Condor has been here a long while, which is why the Invincible is coming. Which is why everything looks so abandoned. It's been here for who knows how long. But the electromagnetic interference keeps erasing their minds, keeps setting them back, so they keep thinking they're reliving the same days over and over again. Hmm. Some of the rocks aren't textured correctly. Ace, come in. Yes, sir. Uh, good to hear from you. I admit that man's message fell short of reassuring me. Of those reinforcements he spoke of arrived. I tried to intercept their response to no avail. No. On the contrary. I am supposed to follow them. There's something off with those people, Astrogator. I mean, more than I expected. Are you talking about reinforcements, or have you met anyone else? There were two more men with him. Completely wiped out. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Rahitra, on the other hand. Yes, Doctor? He has some brain damage. When he woke up, not only had he completely forgotten our conversation, he couldn't even remember me. I'm... I'm not quite sure what's wrong with him. But he does everything he can to take good care of the other two. I see. Oh, I haven't told you the most important thing. The Condor's here. Long. Condor? Yes. HQ messed everything up. It was Condor that was flying to Regis 3. Not the Invincible. And that was some time ago. They've been here a while. I'm following the transport that was headed there. We need to get to the bottom of this insane story. So now we're heading back to the Condor itself, the main mothership they were using. What is Condor doing here? I have no idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it. Uh, it's not broadcasting. I'm intercepting its transmission. I wouldn't count on... I know. But I promise to do it, so I will. Besides, he'll only leave when he's certain that reinforcements won't arrive. And I don't want to be stuck in that cave with him forever. Fair. I've driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Well, let's see what's here, if anything. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. There's oh, several Arctans here. Are they still here. working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile. Compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? No. Pipsaw. No. Someone else. Well, you can't help him anymore. But there are still people who are alive and need you. Let's not forget about them. As you said yourself, Doctor. Right. Please keep going. Hey, Milos. Come in. I'm using an open Hearing channel to broadcast. Over. How's it going? Are you receiving no this, Astrogator? So Affirmative. Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. 
Perhaps the higher-ups can do something. Hey! Hey, Maro! Sit down! Uh, I wish we had secured them better. But back to the matter. Have you found anyone else? One working Arctan so far. Several probes also seem to... People, Rehitra. Only people matter. I know. The Arctan will help me look for them. I'm going away for a while. I stopped at the old excavations. I'll look for Pepsol. Alright, I'll check the base. Frozen. Over and out. <laughs> Rehitra, come in. I'm moving on. About Pepsol. Right. There's nothing we can do for him anymore. Over and out. Hey, Milos. I hope you're still within reach. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, a woman. I doubt she was alone, but I, I didn't see anyone else. I've already broadcast to the base. Just come back soon. I'm closing the channel. Talk to you later. Okay, Fully I think that's annoying. enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going, so should I. Agreed. Okay, we got another probe. Very deep canyon here. Another one. Oh. Oh, the sight of death is starting to exhaust me more than frighten me. Which right. in itself is quite Get a glimpse. Doctor, who it is. Well aware that these are our survival mechanisms. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, what do we got? Setting up base. Movement of cargo. Is that it? Just the two? Guess so. <sighs> My legs feel really heavy. Even this so game is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. It. We spent like two days on the planet so far. Turn left here. Going to this gaping hole that was drilled by an anti map most likely. So the anti map hit. Uh, there's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energobot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although, it's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way, so even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Uh, wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking. A transporter. They're here. It's standing still, in front of the force field. Is that Milos convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, most likely. Can you see anyone? There's someone inside. More than one. Two. Probably not alive. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. Oh. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Oh, they must be in the back. I don't see anyone in the back. Are you trying to turn the power on? Yeah, I probably should. My that would be smart. Says... Hey, it's on. It's on. Get the door open. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat. Now all door wait the back door oh. Oh. No. What? This what vehicle. It? It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance God. of understanding what's going on. Sorry, you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. 
You found more of those? No. It started Fuck. automatically. Hello, Commodore. This is low interest business. It's day 26, time... So many. I'm continuing my search for the missing crew. I've checked the excavation area. I guess... to find others. Come here as soon as possible. Fuck. We need backup. Over and out. Whew. Hello, Condor. He's been here for far too long. For oh yeah. Support. Far too long not to receive help come from back. Condor. Over Condor is gone. Right. Hello. Nobody Condor. will come. This is Rohit's I'm afraid there's not a soul this here on this damned planet, except for the three in the cave. I've returned from the excavation site. Let's I was get this to the rest of the recordings. Can you stop? No longer there. No way. I'll continue my I'm search. not going back there. We're waiting for your support. Well, let's change the channel then. Come back, will you? That's over can do. now. All right. Hello. Talk to you in a second. Condor. This is Rohit. Ah. Uh, Fuck. Much better. Like I thought. Agreed. They've been here for far longer than we thought. Originally. It's not the Invincible, it's the Condor. The Invincible's coming here to figure out what happened to the Condor. Why it went radio silent, why no one's responding, why everyone's dead. The fuck was that? A flare? Astrogator, Rahitra is firing off flares. He doesn't realize yet that no one else can see them. Except me. If I don't snap him out of this damn loop. He'll keep doing it until he dies. Or goes insane. Yes, I understand the tragedy of this man. You want to save him. You want to save one more life. Three. Three more lives. Okay, let's get back and see if we can't convince him to leave because this is a fully dead I planet. I found a direct route. I'll be in the hill soon. So are the flies killing off all biological life? Is that what they're doing? When encountered with some other biological organism they snuff it out is that why there's no bacteria even viruses no dna no rna left on the planet's surface why everything else lives underwater so we gotta get out so like i theorize it's been day 26 for who knows how long long enough to have a massive pile of cans down there Say th that facial hair I don't think grows in just 25 days. Not that length. Look far too raggedy, worn out. The equipment appears far too submerged, outdated, left to rust. Then just merely 25 days. What's oh, a whole ship? All these anti-mats, all this leftover just tech laying around. This was a massive operation, and every single last soul that was on board the Condor is dead, save for those three. Everything else left around on autopilot or just sitting here to collect dust. Maybe it's just the length that they stayed at on the yes, plant surface. Back already. I, I found Milos. So quickly. Where are they? Tell me what's going on. Yes, sir. You have to tell us. <sighs> Calm down. I'll tell you everything. Maybe you should sit. Come on, talk to me. I don't want to sit down. <sighs> There's no more Milos. Nor those he was transporting, nor anyone else. There's only the three of you left. But... You can't possibly know that. How could you? You're right. I'm not sure. 
But what I do know is that no one has come to help you for the last 428 days. Holy shit. What are you talking about? You've broadcast your morning message to Milos this many times. It, it seems that every night you forget what happened during the day. 400. Uh, I'm sorry to bring such news. Doctor. But I want to help. You don't have to wait any longer. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Fuck. Hurry, Oscar. Copy that. Where? Is that one of yours? What does he want? It's our astrogator. He's warning us of the approaching cloud. Quick, get us to the hideout. Now, move! Can he get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Uh, revenge on what? I think he wants to fight. It's essentially a force of nature. We can't do anything about it. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see. You can't beat him, join him. You have a much better chance of survival if you stick together. Fuck, fine. Hey, okay. Yasta! What? What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh. uh... Thought so. No idea what this is. Here, take it. You can help by shooting. I'll by take care shooting. of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Check, check. Hey, over. Let's stay in touch. Copy okay. That. So we just. I'll be aim. RT shoot. Okay. I don't see it. Soon it'll be within range of the guns. It's coming from the east. Over the hill. I see it. Well, there is nothing we can do about this. It's like trying to <laughs> use a laser beam to shoot at an actual cloud. Like, we're not going to do anything. There's way too many. All right. Damned flies! What? Later, Rahitra. Later. Power, 60%. Fuck. What? Why not 100? They're everywhere. What am I supposed to do? Why exactly are they even coming for us? Like, what What do they want? Why aren't they attacking? Everywhere. We have we have like no chance at all. They're just there's too many. The more we kill, the more they just replenish. What is it? What should I do? Come on! Tell me where to shoot! That's not so easy, there's too many! Just shoot them! Oh, come on! <sighs> Fuck! Is that it? Is it the force field? Is it down? Are we fucked? Damn! If this keeps up! Don't tell me you're starting to regret this, Rahitra. I can't believe you dragged me into this. That's what you think. I'm not the only one who's giving up. The field is too. And you're not so optimistic yourself. Oh, it's going haze. Ah. Shit, shit. What do we do? What do we do if it goes down? The field keeps 
shrinking. Now do something about it, will you? Rahitra, are you there? What's going on with you? Fuck. You've got to be kidding. Where is he? Stay in touch, yeah? Huh? <laughs> Good one. You could warn me before you fuck her off someplace. Where are you? Fuck. Is that it? Is the field fully down now? I see we have that. To run. But where? Isn't it obvious? Condor. You don't actually expect anyone on the ship to have survived, do you? I'm not that naive. I need the Condor itself. In order to have the entire arsenal of our flagship at our disposal. We might be losing now, but it doesn't mean we can give up. We'll send the Cyclops out to fight. Cyclops? Uh, that's a code name for... It's more of a moniker. For an 80-ton machine with firepower exceeding all antimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation contamination, enormous pressures and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. In addition to the Dirac's force field, it has an antimatter spherical blaster. And it has the most advanced electronic brain at our disposal. Defeat is not an option. Uh, uh, wait! Haven't you had enough? It might be time to hide and uh, consider other options. You must be kidding. I'm not gonna sit on my ass in the dark. Now I finally know what happened? Uh, I see you're not gonna listen to me either. Because there's nothing to talk about. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasna. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such, such a, a hard, hard choice. choice. I hope okay. I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away, or even into orbit. Working is a big word. Oh, what is wrong with it's it? It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Somehow it does not surprise me. Well, we either die to the flies Let's or fly. we try flying out. Just we don't really have an option. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. So we're flying to the condor? Possibly. Most likely. Ah. Uh, hold on, was it? What the fuck? Where are we? Uh, oh, great. He's not here. Rehitra, he took his men to the ship. They're inside now. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. Okay, well, I guess we're going to board the condor if then. He expected me to wait here. He's sorely mistaken. Hop off the saucer, head. Holy shit. Wow. It's impressive. The condor? Massive. Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices. That reminds me of uh, 
I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. Later, Astrogator. I want to get to Rehitra first. Well, there's a good chance you'll be there too. All the more read Ah. There goes the Cyclops. So that's their marvel of military technology. And that cave that looks similar to something on Stalker. Is it attacking already? For oh. now, he's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. God, this is massive. <laughs> It's the thing no one on board is alive so still is insane. Uh, this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is that, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's it is here? Flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, I'll be here in a few days. I'm looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. Everything makes sense now. Mm -hmm. They were coming to rescue their people from the very, very beginning. beginning. Not Twice to gain in. some imaginary advantage over us. It's a rescue mission. I'm boarding. I'll talk to you soon, Astrogator. 